everyone so i want to show you how i made this um well i don't know what to call it it's a faceted ornament gift box uh, i'm going to call it a cute faceted ornament um and i originally saw uh now i can't remember the name of the person i saw but i will try and put it up on the screen of the lady that i saw the youtube video i saw and i just thought i really like that that's really different and that looks really cool um yeah so obviously you could use it as a gift box you could just do it as an ornament on your tree um but yeah it's really cool and i've used actually for this one i've used the dovecraft foiled paper pad so this is the pad i've used so i used the silver foiled one but they've also obviously got the gold i've shown you this before so yeah so i'm going to be using this again today but i'm going to use the rose pink one because i just really liked this um and it's quite a good weight because it is actually 250 gsm so it's a nice weight it does mean that when you come to folding it and stuff it is quite solid it also means you need to make sure you really do stick it together at the top and bottom because it does like to pull itself apart and because this bottom bit here is quite difficult to actually stick the top bit is relatively easy but when you're closing up the last final edge um, you really do need to make sure it's definitely stuck and the lady i saw she used hot glue so i think think that might be a good idea i don't really want to get my hot glue gun out but yeah we might do that or i might just go with red tape again like i did with this one it seems to be holding up at the moment um but yeah i think if you obviously if you want to put stuff in it then you might do well to put um hot glue at the bottom um obviously then the person's going to have a right game getting into it but that's just part of the fun of getting an ornament with things in it so yeah so that is the project for today so let's get into it so to start with, you're going to need a piece of base card that is five and a half by eleven and a half. Now I've also going to use, I'm going to be using that as my little tag. This is out of the Little Red Robin vellum sentiment pack. But I thought that's quite cute. And then I'm also going to use this pink ribbon at the top, which is just out of my stash. I'm not sure where it's from, but any kind of ribbon or whatever you've got. Now obviously I appreciate that it might be quite difficult to see my score lines. However, because it's shiny, it might be also easy to see them. But I will flip it over if it looks like I can't see the score lines. I'll flip it over and you can see them. So what you want to do is you want to score at two and three quarters. At five and a half. At eight and a quarter. And at eleven. OK, and then you also want, so if you can see that there. If you turn it round, you're going to score halfway at two and three quarter. And then if we turn it so you can see the lines there. OK, so I've turned it over so I can see a bit better as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to score an X in the middle of every single one of these boxes. OK, so the best way of doing this, if you get your ruler, if you go from the top, obviously ignore the tab. If you go from the top of this bit here across to here that will score across two boxes so you're going to do that um, and obviously we are scoring on the side but that's fine because you've got a bit of a mix of ma mountain and valley folds so now we're going to go i'm going to come across the top of the other the box next door and i'm scored down to the bottom and it should all your lines should go through these points here i'm going to do the same here and then the ones that you need to not forget about are the two little end ones so this one here, that hasn't gone quite through because I've actually missed. Let me just see if I can. You need to definitely make sure you're being really accurate with these lines. OK, well, <clears throat> that is what it is. And then we're going to score here. Like that. And then I'm also going to score from here to that corner there. And then we're going to turn it round and I'm going to score all of these boxes the other in the other direction so as you can see you've got a cross in each box you can see that if i angle it like that you can see all the cross lines so then what we want to do is bring your scoreboard back in make sure your tabs on the left if you're scoring from the right like i am um, and you're going to score at one and three eighths and you're just going to come down until you get to that center see where the, your, your two lines are here you're only coming down to that center and then what you're going to do is you're also going to do the same from here you're going to go from 
Oh, no, that's the wrong one. It's the one next door. It's this one here. There we go. So it's there. If you want, you can just flip it over and do it. I'm just being awkward and messing up my box, but don't worry about it. So one and three eighths. Then you also want four and one eighth, which is here. And again, should come to here. I'm going to just do this. You can just turn it round, which is kind of easier, but anyway. Okay. And then six and seven eighths, which is there. Again, down to there. And then the same on the bottom. Like that. And then lastly but not least, nine and five eighths, which is here. And then we're going to do the same here. Make sure it's obviously lined up. So my arm's in the way. Okay. So you should end up with that, ignoring this bit here that's a mess up. Okay, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold all of my lines and I'm going to fold them all in both directions because you really want them to be like really well, you know, burnished and fold. Especially if you're using this kind of weight of card, you really do want a well burnished card. So I'm just going to go ahead now, fold them all, fold them all up, burnish them and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, so you should end up with a very well folded piece of card. So that's what it should look like. Okay, now I've discovered with this card, if you fold it this way first, with the shiny side on the outside first, and then fold it back, you're less likely to get cracks. So that's a little tip for you if you're using this. And just make sure that your card doesn't crack before you start, because you are going to be doing lots of folding. Right, so now what I want to do is along this edge here, we're going to put some red tape. And then we also need to just notch this out. And I'm just going to make sure that my notch actually doesn't go past. So where this score line is here, your notch kind of comes. So that one there is not notched enough. You need to really notch them so that you don't go past. Because this will then help you when you come to folding. This will help you because I had some edges that really didn't want to fold because I hadn't notched them out enough. So just make sure when you turn this over that this tab stays within these lines. If you do that, then hopefully that will help you. So now I'm going to fold along this first one here. Here's my tab, like that. And then we are going to stick this together. So we're going to fold that one over there like that and stick it together. And you've got kind of like a box. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to bring this one in because this is a little sample that I made. So what we're going to do at the top, these bits here need to fold in and need to stick together like that. And that then, when you do that, that then then forces that to be a valley, these to be mountains. OK, so you need to make sure they're mountains. And we're going to stick these together here. Now, before I do this, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to just make a little hole somewhere. Actually, no, I think I might just trap my ribbon in it. No, actually, let me just do this bit. Yeah, this is the top, so let me do this now. So I'm going to take my ribbon um, and we are going to cut a length of ribbon. It's really up to you how long you want your loop. Um, I think I'm going to go for about like that because I need to tie a knot. So I'll probably go a bit more than that, actually. I need to tie a knot as well. So I'm just going to cut a bit off. So that's what I've got. This here is 12 inches of ribbon I've got there. So then I'm just going to put the two ends together like that. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Now the knot doesn't actually help you that much, but I just like tying a knot really, if I'm honest. Okay, so like that. Now, when I did this one, I had trouble because this knot, this didn't want to stay in. And I've ended up having to put a whole load of silicon glue just in on the inside here to stick this in. And I'm not sure how stable that's going to be. If you put like chocolates or whatever in there, I don't know how you know how well that's going to hold it. I'm going to use um, red tape, and I'm just going to put red tape 
on the diagonal edges. So where you've got a triangle like that, you just need to put it on one edge. And we're going to do that on all four sides. So on the inside here, I'm just going to stick a bit of a red tape on here, just along that seam. This, again, may or may not work, I don't know. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put my thing in and just stick that down on there like that. And then I'm just going to go over it with a bit of tape. Now this is probably not the best. This is low tack tape, so this is not the best thing to stick it with. But um, it's all I've got to hand at the moment, so it'll do. Just to cover up that red tape that could potentially get in the way. And then basically these just need to all pop in. So that's going to pop in there like that. That's going to pop in there like that. And the whole thing's going to go together like that. Okay, so that is what you're aiming for on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead now and just stick these down. You will find on the last two sides that you need to do them at the same si same time. So let's just pop that in like that. Now for this bit, you can actually get your hand in and press. When you come to do the base, you're not going to be able to do that. So it does get slightly more challenging. Um, I appear not to have any tape here. I'm not sure why. So let's just get a piece of tape and stick it on. Okay, so that is the top of your box. So you can kind of see where we're going. Right, so now with this one, we're going to do the same again. So I just need to go ahead and add tape again to all of these little triangular pieces. Okay, so I've put my tape on. So now I'm going to go ahead Push all these triangles in. So the first one you've got, you can easily stick that in. If you're going to fill it with anything, do it now, because otherwise it will be empty. Um, and then we're going to fold this one in. So it's all those little straight lines that we did in between the, um, in like the middle of the triangles. That that's the ones you're you're sticking down. So you're going to go ahead and stick that down. You kind of need to pinch it to so yeah. For these two, you can kind of get in there. But now you're on your own. This last one, you are completely on your own. Just stick this down. Um, this is why probably hot glue is a good idea. But we are going to persevere with the red tape because that's what we've started with. So that's there like that. Just going to fold that in like that. Stick that down like that. You can kind of press and hope for the best. Okay, so that should be your cube ornament. So it's relatively straightforward now i just want to go ahead and put my little tag on so i've got my little tag here i'm going to punch a little hole in there but i'm not going to make it very big i'm just going to thread it over the top of the ribbon let's have a look i think probably that will do nicely so i'm just going to go ahead and punch that as in the middle as i possibly can about there now obviously with it being vellum you need to be careful that you don't tear it. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to take the edge, poke that over the top like that. Very gently, just pull that down. There we go. And then I'm going to finish off by just adding a little bow on the front. So I'm going to cut out another 12 inches of ribbon and then we're going to bring this round. I don't know how well my hands are going to do this, but anyway, and we're going to make a little bow. So there you go. So there's your finished ornament all ready to be hung up on the tree. Or whatever you want if you wanted to and you had a, a, enough patience it'd be quite nice to make these some of these little um apertures so like cut little apertures out and have little windows so you can actually see what's in the middle even if you did just these four squares in the middle it'd be quite nice but as i said you just need a bit of patience for that one because then trying to stick it together would be a bit of an interesting situation but yeah so that is the make for today so i hope you liked it 
please go and check out drkcrafts.co.uk and um, please like subscribe leave a um comment down below hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and i will see you next time bye